John Regis, who could be very busy today, is on the second leg in this. And also, if he comes through this, OK, will definitely run in the 4x4. Four four. The British taking a gamble on Regis's club running. He's run several times for Belgrave in the league, and he's good over 400. But it is a calculated risk. They've decided to put him on the third leg, providing he comes through this without any problem. Already got one gold and one bronze. John running on the second leg here. And the check marks absolutely important. And the British, as you just heard from Paula Dunn, uh, she confirms what I told you earlier. I had been told by the coaches, they're stretching every checkpoint to the limit. They're taking a chance to get medals. And the key one is his. If that's 37 foot lengths and he goes on that, he'll be panicking that his own uh, training partner won't be able to catch up with him. That's what Frank Dick is asking of them. And although the British girls felt that they did risk everything, they really had pretty conservative check marks. They were too close to one another when the baton was passed. What he wants them to do is the incoming man to be at flat out speed, but reaching out as the outgoing athlete has his arm outstretched and is beetling away. That's the Spanish team drawn on the inside. Lane one empty, lane two. They did 39.89 in the heat. One of the outsiders. Italy in with a medal chance, no doubt about that. 39.17 in the heat. Longo, there's their first runner, and that's the rest of the team. They go in lane number three. In lane four, the Soviet Union, therefore, Zhirov, Krylov, Fatun, and Gary Maikin, the junior, the world junior 200 meter champion. It's a strong squad, well drilled. 39-2-1 in the heat. The French, one of the great dangers to Great Britain in this. Max Marinier on the first leg. Sanguma, the silver medalist in the 100 on the second. Trouabal on the third. Bruno Mare Rose in the fourth. Uh, Great Britain, 38.89. Slower than the French in qualifying. Darren Braithwaite, John Regis, Marcus Adam, Linford Christie. The Portuguese in lane seven. Damasio, Curvalo, Agostino and Barroso. And Hungary led off by Barosh. Carafa on the second leg. Rezak on the third. Kovacs on the fourth. The Soviets and the French, two of the best drill squads in the competition. The important thing for Britain, they've got possibly the fastest sprinters. Can they get the baton round as efficiently as possible? The final of the four by 100 meters relay. Way <laughs> first time. And Braithwaite's got a good start. He throws right down on Portugal. Also going well of the French. Uh, Marinier now to Sanguma. This is an important leg. John Regis got a good change. And down the back straight to Regis against Sanguma. That's Britain and France at the moment with France closing up. And Sanguma, a brilliant leg there by him. It's France leading Great Britain in second place. Marcus Adam now against Tourbal. And France with a clear lead. Can Christie cut this back against Bruno Marie Rose? And the French fumble the chains. The French made a mess of the chains, but Christie's given too much to do. France win, Great Britain second. And in third place, Italy. The time, 37.80. And that is a world record. The first world record in the championships but there's a very big question mark about the last change a very big one he's right at the end of the takeover zone but i've seen no red flag and that if confirmed is a new world record for the french 37.80 the old world record 37.83 and britain possibly with the faster sprinters paid for the baton changing which wasn't as good as the French Linford Christie had no hope of crouching Barry Rose on the last even though the French takeover was not as good as it might have been now that was what the stretch to the limit meant the French had it all the way round 
and uh, their limit was on the line or almost over it on the final exchange but they gave us a le lesson in baton passing there no question about it whether they'd uh, told our team to have risk or not and incidentally they ran very quickly it was a fine team but it, they were conservative and the french were not and they had brilliant exchanges a great run for me was by sanguma on the second leg when he was against regis the 200 meter gold medalist he really had a brilliant run French congratulated by the British. It's some world record this is. The Americans set their world record in 1984 in the Olympic Games. 37.83 and the new world record 37.80. It'll be interesting to see when we get the replay, the last changeover, because the French were right at the very edge. But I haven't seen a red flag. Nor can I remember how long it's been since America hasn't held the world record at 4 by 100. We're trying to uh, go through the old record books. That's a brilliant, brilliant run. A nice gesture there by the British team, applauding the French run, and also at the same time, applauding their own supporters. Let's have a look at what happened there. And this is the run into the last change. It's Trubal against Marcus Adam. Now watch Bruno Murray Rose taking over from... Uh, now I believe he was right on the very edge look 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 there he's searching for it and he's gone a long long way there's no flag but and it's 30 years since the Americans uh, have lost that record 1960 the Americans the new time 37 79 the new world record and a lead on that sort not even Limfer Christie can make up. They were right at the edge, and it has to be said that they still had room because that last exchange by the French team was a bad one. It was dangerous as well, Ron. He was right on the limit, absolutely on the limit. And they're watching the replay there, the British team. And Linford had no hope of catching up there. But in fact, the British team, I wonder if they've smashed the British record. We haven't got their time as yet. Uh, the British record is 38.28. Uh, Darren Braithwaite had a good one here. Measured against Max Marinier, the Frenchman. Uh, here he hands on to Regis, but it was Sanguma who did the damage in the back straight. Sanguma not in the shot, but he's closing on Regis, and he had a brilliant second leg. There's Sanguma right in the picture, so the French are dominant now. That's Trubal against Marcus Adam. Now, this is the problem spot for the French. Look at that, he fumbled for it, now he's OK. And Christie had no hope of giving three, four metres to Bruno Murray Rose. It was certainly a very, very ordinary change for the French. And the British time, oh, he just held it, the third fastest time in history. 37.98, a European record, or it can't be a European record with the French there. I've just been passed a note to say it's a European record. That's not on. It's a Commonwealth record, and obviously a British record. And the French, well, they're winning time, the new world record at 37.79.